Hello, welcome Fish here with another BMS video. This video we're going to look at, at a step-by-step -step guide to the Pico and BMS. And I'll put some settings at the end of the video. It's not a settings or a setup video because that will depend on your particular hardware. I will put mine up there so you can use it for reference. This is actually just a step-by-step -step to install uh, and get things running. So the first thing we'll do is we're now in uh, the Pico so I'll have to assume that you've been able to install the Pico and have it up and running and this is the screen that you get. You will need to download a piece of software called a virtual desktop uh, in order to replicate what I'm doing here and when you've got that installed it's got two pieces to it it's got the application a paid application which it sits on the Pico headset and the other is a piece of software uh, the server which sits on the PC. Now on the PC uh, it needs to be running and I'll look at the settings on that when we get into the virtual desktop itself. So in order to start uh, to get into the virtual desktop what we have to do is we have to go to our library and we select all and you can see we have virtual desktop as an option there. And before I do that what I'm going to do is I what I normally do is I normally on the options here check my LAN and make sure I'm my Pico is connected to the correct router. Once that, that's done, I'll go back to our library and I'm going to click the virtual desktop. The important button here is the menu button. I'm just pointing to it there. The menu button on the left hand controller that toggles the virtual desktop software on and off and if I click it off we can see we're actually in the virtual desktop now so it's my computer screen is there in front of me and I have several screens so if I toggle using you can see there's the buttons on the the left controller the X and Y if I toggle using the Y it takes me to the different screens now in order to start my BMS I've got some shortcuts there so I'm going to choose the one up here and it's 437 VR copy and this is a batch file I use and what it does is it closes down all versions of the uh, BMS software uh, things like voice attack and um, weapons delivery planner if it's running and then it restarts the various items that I need so I'm going to do this by clicking on it and you can see the batch file is now running so now we've seen that voice attack has started and the game has started now you can notice that the controllers have changed here you can see these are the oculus controllers so that's it that tells us that we're in steam vr now so that we're actually in virtual reality we're not on the virtual desktop so we're in the 3d environment and we've only got we still have the four controls on our controllers but they're not visible here in VR now in order to get back and, and, and if you see there's no actions or my controllers don't do anything with the user interface there for BMS as you see it in front of you and if I just um, just hold these controllers in my hand and reach down for my mouse you can see I can interact with it using the mouse and this is what I normally do once I've got everything set up and I'm ready to to fly so I'm gonna get back into virtual desktop by putting the menu button now it's not the button we see here it's actually the last button on the left hand side and if I double click on it it takes me back into virtual desktop and I know I'm on virtual desktop because when I press the Y key successively I cycle through my screens and also you'll see that the, the depiction of the controllers in VR is different it's got the four buttons here as well as the, the um, the thumb switch so now I'm going to just going to move this out of the way because I want I, I do want to have that visible but not not necessarily on that screen now let's say I want oh let's well let's move forward now and look at the user interface so I can interface with BMS using my controllers here what I can't do unfortunately is I can't um, use the keyboard now to bring up the keyboard in virtual desktop you press the X key and you can see it down there and so we can use our pointer to type in various things but unfortunately I can't seem to get this to work 
So uh, if we wanted to type in something, let's say we're using the uh, tactical engagement screen and we're creating a new one and we want to save it and I want to type in something there. Unfortunately, I can't type from here. It won't work. But what I, what I can do is I can double click on the menu button and it takes me into back into VR and now my normal keyboard will work. Now, my setup, you can see, um, if I double tap on the headset, you can. I'll show you my setup. And we can see my mouse or my keyboard is here. So um, I can type from there. And then I double tap and I go back into um, the user interface and you can see I could I could click the save button for that if I needed to. But by and large, I don't do um, any of that uh, editing of missions from this screen. So I generally don't have to type in any text. So I'm quite happy to work with the user interface until almost I'm ready to fly. So I'm going to double click on the menu, which is again the menu button on the left controller. Double click and it takes me back to virtual desktop and I can thumb through that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, sh I'm going to go back into our game and I'm going to select a mission. So let's get back out of that. Exit there and... Um, so we'll go back to tactical engagement and I'll choose uh, a mission here. I'm going to choose this Tarkap one. Press OK to that. And I'm going to select me as I would. So I'm not going to make any changes to this mission. Click on the data cartridge, press save to that. And before I commit to fly, what I need to do is I need to update my weapons delivery planner. So I thumb through the Y key to get to my screen where, the, where um, I have an icon for weapons delivery planner. Now, if you have only have a single screen, what I suggest you do is you put the applications that you're going to need to use while your um, while your game is open because you can't get to that screen. And what you can do is you can uh, go down to the Windows key and you can toggle into that. Um, and I should have a weapons delivery planner on that. Now, what you might new, need to do to do that because you might not be able to see that ta that taskbar at the bottom. What you may have to do is double tap on your screen and hit your hit your uh, Windows button on the menu bar. Okay, so I'm going to tap back, double tap, get myself back in and thumb through to that. And now I'm going to launch the weapons delivery planner. So you can see it's opening there. So it's opened on, on our... BMS screen. So what we want to do is we want to keep that with the focus. So now I'm going to choose a file. Um, I've you can navigate to your mission file, but I know what it is. It's that one. Ignore the warnings and uh, choose the choose the flight. Everything else looks good there. Update the knee board and press save. Press OK to that. And now we're finished with the weapons planner. So we go exit that. Now we're ready to commit to fly. And what I'm doing now at this stage is I'm going to place my, um, I'm going to first of all go into v VR, virtual reality mode, and out of the virtual desktop mode. So again, the menu button, it's double click on that. And now, and we know we're in virtual reality mode because my controllers are different and they don't, they've got, don't have any focus on the screen. I'm going to put my two controllers down and I'm just going to demonstrate the layout here. So you can see my layout. I'll keep those on the outside. I'll keep my mouse left and right. I found that, find the left hand, left hand side mouse is very handy for clicking cockpit on the right hand side and my right hand side mouse very good for clicking cockpit on the left hand side so I go back into into the game now and I'm going to choose the takeoff ramp and because I'm in virtual reality mode it should take me directly into the pit So now I'm in Steam VR. 
and we're in the pit now. And if I want to pick up my controller, I've, I know where it is on my desktop. You can double tap if you want to see through it, but I've had my, I have the controller in my hand now. And if I click on the menu button on the left hand controller once, we can see it brings us up um, Steam VR. And click it once again and it's gone. And I can go into Virtual Desktop from here also if I need to get back to my screens for any reason by double tapping on that menu button. And you can see this screen here. Now if I cycle through the screens, you can see a BMS has opened um, and it stretched itself across a couple of screens. But you can see I have access to some of those things here. I can choose any of those items I want. So I want to get back into the game. I can double tap my menu button again and now I'm in the pit and you can see the reason why I have a mouse on the left hand side and a mouse on the right hand side is if I'm looking to the right hand side here I actually use my left hand side mouse it's just much more comfortable to access some of these keys or if I'm on looking for something on the left hand side here I use my right hand side mouse so I can I can access everything quite easily here so that's pretty much my uh, setup I don't think there's much much else I need to say and um, I have uh, a centering button on my whole task that allows me to center the way I like I normally just stretch my head a little bit back so my center position is a little bit forward in the cockpit I hope you found this video useful and feel free to like, dislike, comment and subscribe. Until the next time, this is Fish Out.